Hey everyone, I'm Joe Zeeland, and today I'm going to show you how to play E Bloom Blown by Coldplay, which was first released on the In My Place single as a B side, um, along with One I Love back in 2002. Good times. First off, with the tuning, as expected, this guitar right now is not in standard tuning, but we actually have an open D major tuning. As you can hear, we just play empty strings and we still get a chord. So you want to tune your low E string down to a D. A and D stay in standard tuning. You want to tune your G string down to an F sharp. And B and E are tuned down to A and D. If you're familiar with the song, you know that this is finger-picked all the way. So our main focus for this video will really lie on getting down this picking pattern. I'll show you the intro first and I'll play it at full tempo, but then we'll slow it all the way down. And then you might actually see that the picking pattern is not that complicated. Since this is tuned to an open chord tuning, we can actually practice our picking pattern without having to play any chord. So let's just do that. I'll play the same picking pattern now on the right hand at full tempo but without playing a chord. Now let's slow it all the way down. consistent this pattern is. Look at what the thumb does. Low E string, D string, A string, D string, low E string, D string, A string, D string. And as for what the thumb does on your picking hand, this is almost consistent throughout the entire song except for one section. Now let's add our index finger and middle and ring finger. Notice how middle and ring finger consistently throughout the entire song always play notes together. And they'll consistently stay on the B and E string. Your index finger will consistently stay on the G string. And even more so than our thumb of our picking hand, these three fingers play the same thing the entire song.
And this is, at this tempo at least, this is a very good beginner-friendly picking pattern, actually. The only difficulty really is the tempo. The chords are also not the problem. They are also fairly easy, but they make for very, very interesting harmonies, uh, which were a lot more common back in the old Coldplay days. So we're starting off on this chord, open D, 7th fret on the A string, I played with my middle finger. Then 6th fret on the D string, I played with my index finger, and then open strings. And if we just strum it, it sounds like this. It sounds super, super mysterious, because we're actually combining a D major chord with the basics of an E major chord. 7 and 6 on the A and D string, that is root E and then the major third. So a really, really interesting first chord, and now let's apply our picking pattern to it. Play four rounds of this and then move down to a regular D major. So we're keeping our fingers, middle and index finger here on the A and D string, but we move it down from 7 6 to 5 4. You want to play one round of that. And then you move it back up to 7 and 6. And you do two rounds of that. And then we move into the verse. All right, let's do the full intro again. to the verse, which also features a very interesting sounding chord. A sort of G minor play like this. It actually comes in two different positions. This is our initial position. Ring finger on the fifth fret of the low E string. And with the same finger, you want to mute your A string. So no sound actually comes from the A string pinky finger on the 5th fret of the D string, middle finger on the 4th fret of the G string, and index finger on the 3rd fret of the B string, open E. I'll play the picking pattern for this and you'll see that we're actually kind of alternating between two chords here in order to keep up with our regular picking pattern. So at first, everything is normal. The picking pattern itself stays the same. But when in the picking pattern you reach the point where you want to play the A string in the bass, you want to move your ring finger down from the E string to the A string. Now, back up to the low E string, down to the A string. this again two rounds of our initial intro chord so you want to do this four times and that is the whole verse there's just one verse then we move to the chorus which again like our G minor chord is very very interesting in terms of music theory because we actually have a key change the first half of the song clearly implies that we're in D major but all of a sudden we're in A major These are the three chords you need for this part. Low E string now is out of the equation. We're always starting with the A string in this section. So the first chord is empty A string, seven on the D string, I played with my middle finger, seven on the G string, I played with my ring finger, 
and then open B and E. Then we move to 9 and 8 on the D and G string. I do that with my middle finger on the D string, 9th fret, and 8th fret on the G string. I do it with my index finger. And we're moving this, 9, 8, we're moving it up to 11, 10. Again, I use my middle and index finger for this. So 7, 7, 9, 8, 11, 10, and then back down to 9, 8. As I've already said, these chords do not include the low E string, which obviously has implications for our picking pattern. It can't stay the same, because now we only have two low strings, two bass strings, the A and the D string. So we're adjusting our pattern. The pattern actually becomes even easier, because now we're only alternating between these two strings, A and D. That's what you do with your thumb of your picking hand and index, middle and ring fingers still do the same exact thing. So let's again combine these two movements, the movement of the thumb and the movement of index, middle and ring finger. Interestingly enough, I noticed that Chris on the recording doesn't use the empty open A string for the bass here, but he actually plays it in the seventh fret of the E string. It works fine for the first two chords, but right here for the third one, it's really, really uncomfortable, unless you have very large hands, which I assume Chris does. But yeah, with average size hands, it's really, really uncomfortable. So I really recommend playing it with the open A string. In my opinion, it also sounds nicer because it's open. So it just sounds clearer and a little less forced. All right, now the chorus part has a weird final part where we actually change the key again. All of a sudden we're in the key of B major. This is a really, really crazy chord because if we just look at the notes that we're playing with our fingers, this is a B major, but if you add the D here, you all of a sudden have a implied minor chord. But now adding the open A string, we actually get this very weird implied B7 chord. So it sounds really, really off, but it is the correct chord. And again, for this chord, we have a simplified bass pattern, only alternating, this time not between A and D, but between E and D. again do the same exact thing then we're moving back down to our G minor chord which I've showed you at the beginning same exact thing again with this alternating movement between E and A string and you repeat it twice back to our crazy B chord to the intro chord. You end on 5-4, clean D major. And that concludes our video for today. Um, actually, third song in a row where we have a finger-picked song. In the new year, we're going to be switching to some other Coldplay songs, more famous Coldplay songs. We've we, we've taken some deep dives here into the catalog E. Bloom Blaum, Sleeping Sun, and UFO, really more on the unknown end of Coldplay songs. I hope you've enjoyed this journey into the back catalog of Coldplay tracks. Um, I've had a good time with it. 
I really want to come back to some of the lesser known Coldplay songs at some point, but uh, next year expect some of the um, bigger hits uh, like Fix You, uh, Viva La Vida, and um, Sky Full of Stars in their respective acoustic versions. If you haven't subscribed yet, I'd really appreciate it if you clicked on that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out immensely. Since this is the last video of the year, I wish everyone out there a Merry Christmas if you're celebrating. Happy holidays, happy days off if you have any. I hope it will be a year with plenty of success and most importantly health for all of you out there. Thank you so much for all your support in 2022. It means the world to me and um, I look forward to making more videos for you. Stay safe everyone. Joe Zealand out.